Hello, you guys. We're going to try this again. I just recorded a 10 minute video, but unfortunately, my audio was attached to the Cybertruck, which unfortunately did not give me volume here. And I don't know why. So my Bluetooth is now turned off. And we're going to go through this planner again, slightly irritated. <laughs> I'm oh, I'm so mad. And then I was like, I could do a voiceover, but then I'm not good at that type of stuff. I don't like editing. I just want, okay, let's start fresh. Ugh. Okay. This is my planner. This is the undyed Giulio Punto, the old leather. I swear they don't make them like this anymore. I've talked about this in my other planners, but this is like the one that you can mark up. You can like make marks on it and then you can rub the scratch marks out of it. Um, I usually have my pen tucked right here, but anyway, if you're new to the planner community, this might get a little complicated when I talk about sizes because this is a pocket day designer planner, spiral bound, that I'm sticking inside an A6 cover with an A6 size pen and gear notebook. So it's a little confusing. It fits. I don't know how it fits, but measurement wise, it fits. Um, the pen and gear notebook, I keep going back and forth with this notebook, you guys. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like, I don't need it. But I honestly like it to scribble in. Uh, like, I could just be out and about and I'll scribble down a grocery shopping list. Most of the time I rip this stuff out. But sometimes it's a lot of fun to kind of flip through your old pages. But I did set up a new one because my other one was all ratty and falling apart. So it was time for a new one. Um, in my pockets, I it's pretty straightforward. I don't really decorate the front. I just have some business cards, a couple of pictures, a note, um, a picture of my, wow, that sun is bright, a picture of my husband and I. I'm going to zoom this out a tiny bit more. Um, hopefully you guys can still see it, but I have some stamps, some band-aids, some little washi strips, and then I have the pen and gear notebook. I have the day designer, and this is my, this is this is all I have, and this works for me. Uh, my little bookmark, I just shared this on Instagram. My girlfriend Riley makes these. She makes them in different colors, and they are absolutely beautiful for your book if you're a reader or if you want it for your planner, which is totally what I wanted mine for. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful. And I will link her Etsy shop below so you can check that out. She also makes the cutest crocheted stuffed animals. I have a whole box of them I have to show you guys because you guys know I love stuffed animals. But um, I'll show those in a little bit. So on the front, I usually keep a couple of sticky notes. So that way I can jot down a note, tear it up, rip it up, whatever I need to do with it. just Or stick it somewhere. My index goes in the front. And this, I just mar I don't write out a page number for every page. I think I stopped at like 25 or something. 24. And then I'll just keep going. I don't hesitate to rip a page out of this if I write up, write on it and don't want it in here anymore. Just rip it out. These are just over a dollar now at Walmart. They're on to us. They know that we like these. We can all blame Michelle for that. Seaweed kisses because these notebooks are great for just every day. I did not mean to put September in here. I'm not going to backtrack my steps, but I do have for October, November, and December. That's what I was setting this book up for is the next three months. And then October, or excuse me, lunch accounts. I like to make note of whenever I'm putting money on my kids' accounts. Whew, I'm glad that sun's going down. Um, then I have a page tab for each of my kids for if there's anything I need to jot down, um, Christmas lists, those type of things. And then I have this list in my other notebook, but I like to change it up because sometimes I don't follow those people anymore, but there's YouTube accounts and TikTok accounts that talk about true crime. And I have a running list of those. And then, um, did I already talk about shows to watch? Okay. So shows to watch. I have a list of those too, but I'd like to post them on my stories on Instagram. And then I have a whole highlight of shows that I'm currently watching. It's mostly true crime. It, okay. It's all true crime. That's, that's mostly what I post. Uh, and then these covers. So getting into this day designer, I don't have the traditional cover that it comes with when you get it from Target. I did go ahead and print this out on from Google, Google Images. And I printed it and just stuck it in there. They have a slit at the top so you can slide decorative paper in there, change it up so you don't have to have just the standard cover. Although they're beautiful, um, it's just fun to make the planner unique in your own, etc. So uh, I do have two covers because I did buy a backup planner to this because heaven forbid I messed up a page, not messed up a page. I don't care if I mess up a page, but if it got wet or damaged and I didn't have it, I could take it from the other one. $12 for two planners. I feel like it's a really good deal. Uh, so yeah, so I just have pictures of our kids in these covers. They're, they're pretty boring right now. Um, I don't really have a lot in them. Violet drew me that yesterday. This is just, these are um, from Studio LTE. They're just little laminated 
dividers that she punches and then you can stick them in your in your spiral bound whoops i just hit that you stick them in the spiral bound and i think they're great and then this is another one this i use for my inbox this i use to track like my supplements and those type of things and these pages there's a few pages in here and i just have them all covered they have just writing on them so this planner i started the first week of july but i did back plan may and june so i have may and june this better be recording my voice um but yeah so my pages over the summer i definitely incorporated more pictures than i have right now for the last couple of weeks but I don't know. This planner is just so good, you guys. I can't quit it. I mean, obviously, I love my cover. I think that's what holds me here the most. But the ease of this planner, I feel like I'm spending more time doing other things than playing than playing and decorating my planner, which there's nothing wrong with that because I obviously can get bored pretty easy. But I'm addicted to heyday. And I spend my majority of my time playing my little farm game. Uh, so that's my August monthly. And you can see I definitely put more pictures during the summer. My kids like to flip through this planner whenever I have pictures. I definitely like florals. Like I put like putting flowers in for stickers. And then I used to have like a kid's section that I would write down if they miss school and all those things. It was like on a Peanuts Planner Co. insert. But instead I just stick it on a sticky note, which I keep on my weekly right here. And at the end of the month, I stick it onto the monthly. So that way it's in that month and I know what went on that month. The sun's coming back out. See, I didn't put any pictures this week. And this week, I definitely went more heavy with pictures. This is October. And then this is my little bill tracker. It's just a pocket size, ring size pocket printable from Peanuts Planner Co. I just cut the ring portion off. And then it's double-sided, so I can flip this over for next year and just use the other side. My monthly, or these tabs are from Type A for Alexa. You can change your headers. I have monthly, weekly, and today is what I bought. But in this planner, I just have my monthly, weekly tab. So this is last week, and this is this week. And then I did go ahead and put stickers down for the next couple weeks. So that's all done. And then back here, I just, of course, I have a stack of receipts like usual that I just, I do this all to myself all the time and I'll scan those into fetch. I have that linked on a few other videos. If you want to find that link or I'll link it below in this video at some point. And then back here, I just have a few things. And then my back pocket has school schedules. So I know where my kids are at what times. And then a couple of notes, the lunch schedule, things like that. And that is my planner. I know I just whizzed through this and it's probably not the same length of time or as detailed, but if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I am going to get this posted and I'll be around. Okay. Bye guys.